Hello. Welcome. I am so happy you are here. In this video, I am going to talk on what I titled at your command. I pray this words minister grace that enable the hearers to live a life of dominion and testimonies abound from this message in the name of Jesus. The scriptures in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 6 and 7 says, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes working as servants upon the earth. Many of us have become victims in life because we have always in ignorance attributed the cause of our circumstances to some external factors such as the environment, the economy, some enemies, the powers that be, and most of the time, the devil. Attributing the cause of your circumstances to an external factor makes you not only a victim, but you relinquish your power to change your circumstances. You become subservient to anything outside of you that you think you have to employ, consult or fight to effect your change. No one can create your reality. It is not possible for anyone to create anything in your world without your consent and cooperation. The scripture is very explicit on who we are in Christ Jesus, where we are in Christ Jesus, who the devil is, the operating laws that guide our creative ability, and our power to hold sway in this realm. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 6 tells us that God hath quickened us together with Christ and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have been enthroned with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are seated with him at the right hand of the majesty on high, far above all principalities, all powers, all might, all dominion, and above every name that is named in this world and in that which is to come. Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 tells us we have been made kings and priests to reign on the earth. Our scepter of authority is the name of Jesus. And Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 tells us that God has exalted the name of Jesus above every name and at the name of Jesus every knee bow. You are a creature with authority 24 hours a day. Everything is under a sovereign authority to obey you. Your thoughts and your words are continually heard and obeyed. Your voice is heard in the heavens and in the earth. That is why God told the children of Israel in the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 28, that as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. They were talking here on earth, but God also heard their words in heaven. We are like a broadcasting tower. Our frequency goes beyond cities, countries, and continents. We transmit the frequency with our thoughts and our words. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there is power, and no one can say unto him, What doest thou? You have unquestionable authority. However, you have been wielding your authority unconsciously, so you didn't know you created the life you are in at the moment. 
The Lord Jesus Christ defeated the devil, paralyzed him, stripped him of his power, reduced him to nothing, and placed him under our feet. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, Jesus says, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. There is no power left for the devil. The devil and all his cohorts are now under our feet. They have no capability to say no when we wield our authority in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why the Bible says to us in Mark chapter 16 verse 17 to cast out devils. In James chapter 4 verse 7 to resist the devil and he will flee. And in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 to give no place to the devil. All these injunctions show we are in charge. The devil and his cohorts obey our order. We are in command. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 tells us of the weapon of the devil. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. The only weapon the devil has left with him is deception. This is how the game is played. You have the power and the authority. Without your command or approval, nothing can be done or created in your reality. Your power and authority is wielded through your thoughts and your words. All the devil does is to throw his deceptive thoughts or pictures at you during the day or present you with some stuff in your dreams at night. The Bible calls them the fiery dust of the wicked. Whichever way they come, they are presented to you for approval. If you say no, this is not allowed. There is nothing any devil can do about it. It can never materialize in your world. That is why Jesus warned us saying, take no thought saying. But if you take the thoughts, reason with the thoughts, dwell on the thoughts and allow the thoughts to take roots in your mind and you speak it, it will be manifested in your outer world. That's the trick the devil played on Eve in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. He threw the thoughts at her. Instead of her to reject the thought, she took the thought, reasoned with the thought, acted on the thoughts, and fell by her action. The devil and all his cohorts do not have the power nor the authority to do anything in your world without your consent and cooperation. If you say no, it remained disallowed. That's why the Bible says the devil worketh about seeking whom to devour. He goes about to see who will buy his merchandise of deception. If you are in Christ Jesus, the devil is no longer a factor. If you are at a disadvantage at the moment, turn the tide and stop using your authority against yourself. The scripture says in Isaiah chapter 52 verses 2 and 3, Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus hear the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notification of new content.